Joining us now, our third guest already of this loaded BYU Sports Nation, Tyler Haas, BYU's all-time leading scorer and NBA hopeful. Tyler, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks, guys. Good to be good to be on again. We have a lot to discuss. Starting with this, um, how good is your Spanish, man? <clears throat> um, not very good. <laughs> <laughs> We asked that because, no. yeah, you just signed a contract to play for a team in Spain, assuming that you do not get to play in the NBA. And that's, you know, a, a, a topic all in and of itself. But let, let's talk about what went into the contract with that Spanish team, man. How did that come into the works? Yeah, so, you know, I, I, I'm getting married this summer, as you guys, as you guys know. And, you know, I wanted, I wanted just to have a plan for what, for what I was doing and, um, you know, the Spain team approached me, and it sounded like a really good backup plan uh, if the NBA thing didn't work out. And so um, that is a part of the contract. There's a clause in there. If an NBA team comes after me, that I, I would do that instead. Um, but, I mean, th this team, it's the top league in Spain, and um, these coaches have, have watched me a lot, and um, seems like they, they know how I'd fit into their to their club and organization. And so um, I'm just excited to see what happens the next month or two. What is that like emotionally? Because I assume that the NBA dream is still alive, yet you want to have a backup plan. So do you get hopeful for maybe living in Spain, start looking there, but you're still trying to make the NBA? How does that work? Yeah, no. So the NBA is still plan A right now. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens uh, this week with the draft um, and then with Summer League as well. You know, whether I get drafted or not, hopefully I can, um, you know, play Summer League, get on a team and, um, and make some noise in that. Uh, but uh, I, it's always good to, to have a plan. Uh, that's, you know, kind of what my dad's taught me all growing up. And so um, Spain – Spain's a, a really good option, and you know, and I guess there's always a chance that I get drafted and they and I still go to Spain. You know, some some teams will send guys over there, um, you know, just to develop for a few years. And so, uh, my my fiance is really excited about that option, but um, you know, the NBA still that that dream's still alive, and uh, we're going to give that everything we got. Well, your fiance is Summer Raymond, a former BYU gymnast, and so uh, is she, is she leaning towards Spain because of <laughs> she she wants to check out the gymnastics scene over there? <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't think so. She's actually she's really nervous about the Spanish, actually. <laughs> Four K. <laughs> Four K. Yeah. No, so we we actually we have a, in the contract. Uh, we have Spanish lessons for two hours every week. Wow. Oh, nice. She, she wanted that in there. From the LDS missionaries at the uh, church in the community? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll, we'll get to know those guys if we do, go over. Do you know what your team name translates uh, exactly to? No. Workshop. No. Here we go. Workshop Club of Friends of the Basketball. <laughs> Uh, that is an exact translation. <laughs> <laughs> did you have some tie to Spain? Like, did, did your dad, Marty, I know he played in Europe, but what, what was the connection with Spain other than them just noticing you? Yeah, no, that, that's really what it was. Um, this team had, had watched a bunch of BYU games, and um, they knew my agent pretty well. And so they, they approached us pretty early in the spring um, with, with this option, and you know, we we just we acted on it and um, kind of did some some more uh, investigation, I guess, just trying trying to ask the right questions. And my dad's been great through it all, and we feel good about it. So we did it. Tyler Haas with us on BYU Sports Nation, the all-time leading scorer in Cougar basketball history and an NBA draft hopeful as well as he has mentioned a couple of times already in this interview. Tyler, leading up to the NBA draft, what? in the world is this week like for you yeah and no, it's a, it's a crazy week it's been a crazy you know a couple months uh, i've been it feels like uh it feels like a year packed into a couple months just with all the travel and you know you're meet, constantly meeting new people and different faces and different gyms and so uh it's it's been fun i've enjoyed it 
Uh, it's been it's been really tiring at times, um, but you know I'm I'm excited to see where it lands, and I you know uh, I have to be good good with it either way, whether I get drafted or not, and I'm trying to just control what I can control in the whole process and um, and feel good about it no matter what. Tyler, uh, you've been training in Santa Barbara a lot with uh, I guess P3. Uh, I hear great things with them. I guess what was that experience like, and what are the kinds of things that they have done that have made you a better player? Yeah, P3 has has definitely gotten me right for all these workouts, and uh, you know they do they do a full body assessment. They ha- they have all this technology down there, and they watch the way you jump, the way you you move laterally, the way you run, and and then they you know they find little weaknesses in in your movements, and then they create a plan. They create a plan personalized to you, and um, you know they definitely got my body right, got my ankle right, um, got a few other things working right, and um, I, I feel great. I felt as prepared for those workouts as as I would have been any other way, and um, you know lots of good guys down there, and and I was around, uh, you know, a, a lot of these guys that are going to be lottery picks. Uh, got to know them and. Uh, and play with them a little bit, and so um, great experience. Who were sure. some of those guys? Um, you know, uh, Jalil Okafor, Stanley Johnson was down there, Kelly Oubre, uh, Frank Kaminsky. Frank Kaminsky was playing. He'd come in and play NBA 2K for hours in between <laughs> workouts. He's a goofball. Um but yeah, I mean a couple other guys, and they have a lot of M- they work with a lot of NBA guys too. Um, you know, the, lots of jazz guys were down there. Anthony Bennett was down there, and Gordon. So it was cool to kind of t- connect with those guys and and, and talk with them. So. Tyler, I know uh, randomly I was on vacation in Miami when you were there doing a, a workout with the Miami Heat, and you mentioned to me that you you got to meet Pat Riley and I saw a picture of Dirk Nowitzki when you worked out with the Mavericks. Do you have a favorite workout? Cause I know you, you did a ton of it, but do you have a favorite workout with a, with a certain team? Uh, yeah. I mean, Miami was probably up there for sure. I mean, their, their facility was un, unlike anything I've ever seen, just top of the line, everything that you could uh, imagine or want. Uh, and it's all, really close. I mean, the arena is connected with the practice facility and amazing training room and the weight rooms right there. And they just have uh, huge, huge murals and pictures on the wall of, uh, you know, their championship runs. And um, it was cool to, to talk to Pat Riley and um, coach Spolstra. I mean, and we, uh, coach Spolstra and I made that the Filipino connection. He had, he knew that I, I served there, and so that was that was cool to talk to him. Um, but I mean, overall, the, these organizations—it's it, been amazing to see how they're run, um, how organized they are, and and to meet all these different coaches. Um, I, I've definitely learned a lot through the whole process. How's TJ doing in France on his mission? He's doing, he's doing great. He's been out almost 15 months. Really? I believe it. That fa- really? Yeah. How fast did that go? Okay, so TJ's been up 15 months. How often do you uh, communicate with him? Yeah, we, we communicate once a week. Uh, he gets on, and we're able to email back and forth a little bit. Um, and his mission just got just got iPads. What? Uh, it is 2015. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, they had Crazy. a good. I was, lucky. Uh, I was lucky to be able to make a phone call. I didn't even have a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> and TJ has an <laughs> iPad. Wow. Hey, He's Tyler. Got an iPad, yeah. This is a very exciting time for you, obviously, with the wedding approaching and potentially a contract with the top league in Spain, but uh, not before the NBA draft goes down. We certainly wish you the best and uh, hope for the best as you pursue an NBA dream. And we are proudly displaying uh, the shoes that you so kindly donated to us still on the set. Bring so, in uh, some Febreze, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Great to talk to you, man. We'll talk to you again soon.